In today's significant legal development, former President Donald Trump appeared at a federal courthouse in lower Manhattan, marking yet another chapter in his ongoing legal saga. The case at hand involves Jean Carroll, who is suing Mr. Trump for defamation, alleging that he defamed her by repeatedly calling her a liar and denying her accusations of sexual assault. The jury in New York City now faces the critical task of determining the damages Mr. Trump owes Ms. Carroll. This trial is not the first encounter between the two. It's a continuation of a previous defamation case where a jury found Mr. Trump civilly responsible for sexually abusing Ms. Carroll in the 1990s. Despite this, Mr. Trump has steadfastly maintained that he never met Ms. Carroll and has continued to publicly disparage her, even in the wake of the verdict. In the previous trial, Ms. Carroll was awarded $5 million. The current trial focuses on Mr. Trump's remarks about Ms. Carroll made during his tenure in the White House, responding to her allegations that he raped her years earlier. Significantly, the judge in this case issued a pretrial judgment last year, finding him liable for defamation, with the trial now set to decide the financial extent of that liability. Amidst these legal proceedings, Mr. Trump turned to his platform, Truth Social, to voice his perspective. While he was arriving in the courtroom and even while seated with his attorneys, without access to his phone, Mr. Trump continued to make false claims central to the defamation cases against him. He reiterated his denial of ever meeting Ms. Carroll, labeling the case as an un-American injustice and accused her of wrongful accusations and attempted extortion based on fabricated lies and political shenanigans. That's all one big quote. Mr. Trump has also portrayed this trial as part of a broader conspiracy against him, suggesting it's orchestrated by Democratic officials and President Joe Biden to pre prevent his return to the White House. This narrative is part of his response to a series of legal challenges he faces, including criminal charges and lawsuits, which could potentially affect his eligibility for the 2024 presidential race and his business operations in New York. U.S. District Judge Lewis Kaplan, overseeing this trial, has been urged by Mr. Trump to dismiss what he terms as an, quote, election interference attack, end quote, directed by Joe Biden. Ms. Carroll, for her part, is seeking $10 million in compensatory damages with punitive damages to be decided by the jury. This court appearance on Tuesday marks Mr. Trump's second in-person appearance in a week following his participation in the closing remarks at his civil trial on fraud allegations related to his Trump organization. Notably, his attendance at these hearings is voluntary, yet he continues to assert that these legal proceedings are distracting him from his political endeavors. In a strategic move reflecting the contentious nature of his case, attorneys for Ms. Carroll have expressed concern that Mr. Trump intends to, quote, sow chaos, end quote, in the courtroom, as observed during his fraud trial. They have requested the court to restrict Mr. Trump from testifying on certain matters, including his denial of sexual assault and his knowledge of Ms. Carroll, and from referring to other prejudicial topics that have featured in his recent public statements about the case. Adding to the complexity of Mr. Trump's legal defense, Joe Tacopina, a high-profile attorney representing him in both this defamation case and his New York criminal trial, announced his withdrawal from the legal team one day before the defamation trial commenced. This sudden development without a stated reason adds yet another layer to the unfolding legal drama surrounding the former president. And that is something to think about. I'm W.G. O'Reilly. Be well and hope to see you soon.